everyone welcome back to Danielle's desk today we are doing another flip through I believe that this will be my last flip through of book planners for 2022 I do have a peanut butter taco one but I only used it for a portion of the year and it's really not much to show because I wasn't doing too much however if you do want to see that one comment down below um, it'll be a really quick video or something but it won't be a full year um so if i don't get a lot of comments on people that want to see that planner and i this will be my last book planner that i will show you for 2022 so um this is the always fully booked i have her linked below in my favorites this um book planner only comes out at pre-order and typically comes out in like october it's typically when she opens up the pre-order it comes in a couple of different layouts i will make sure to have a video linked below on like a flip through of the 2023 one and then all the details and everything so i opted she usually comes out with two different versions i did the black and white one um really love it like i said i will have a video linked below that'll kind of give you a little more detail because that's not what this video is about this is my title page which I love this is probably one of my favorite title pages that I've done I did it in a green which I, this isn't normally a color that I flock to don't ask me why I chose green but I did but I'm so happy that I did over here I just have some bookish die cuts and stickers I love things like that I love to add them uh, to my planners this is a year at a glance I don't even use this it's just there um this portion here is um important info um it has my star ratings i did quotes from a curse so dark and lonely which is one of my favorite books and these were my most anticipated books of 2022 and i got to all of them i read all of them and then here's my legend that i use for my book genres I love my book goals. Um, I haven't done it yet for 2023, but I love the way that this came out. I had 150 goal. I read 161. I put in my challenges, my um, seasonal challenges from Creating and Co. There, I wanted to get my bookish podcast up off the ground and Bookstagram. That still hasn't happened. I really haven't even added it to my goals for this year because I'm really uncertain about it at this point. I have a couple of more challenges I put that I wanted to go camping. That also didn't happen last year. I wanted to hit 5K on Instagram. That hasn't happened. <laughs> so I, my goals are kind of sucking right now, except for the challenges. I completed all my challenges. I wanted my Bookstagram account to hit 1K. That hasn't jumped off. I haven't even put anything into it except create the account. And so I wanted to do some PR for a couple of bookish companies and that did happen. So it's kind of like 50-50 on this page. But overall, I love the way the page has turned out. Here's my A to Z challenge. Um, the stickers that you see here are from Peanut Butter Taco. I just put them on top of what's already there. And obviously, as you can see, I have um, fulfilled. If you need some book recommendations or something, you can take a screenshot of this as well. This is the Always Fully Book Reading Challenge, and I did complete that. If you see colors where these little squares are, they're the um, they're based on my legend. So if it's a fantasy or whatever, I just color in based on that legend. Here's the genre and then Reading Rainbow. I did complete both of those challenges. The On the Cover, um, I comp completed this. The Around the World, I didn't. I knew that I wasn't. And so I'm quite sure that I probably read some books a lot. But it was just I never went back and, you know, like colored them in or wrote the books in or anything like that. So I did not complete that one. Here are all 161 books that I read in 2022. So I just have them listed and then I did an overflow here into here because I ran out of book space. So I just used the reading list to, um, to finish those off. And then here are quotes. I don't use these pages at all. I don't document quotes. Um, and then here are my five star reads. So these are all the five star reads that I had in 2022 and what format that they're in. I read more physical books than anything, but I did have, a, I have an occasional audiobook in there as well. Here are my favorite books of 2022 by month. Um, so if you want to take a screenshot of these, this is what I felt based on my reading, um, what I felt uh, were the best books of that month. Not necessarily that they were a five star, maybe within that month, they were just the best book that I read. 
these stickers that you see are from peanut butter taco then we start with January. Uh, so this is my first spread. This is from Simply Gilded. The date covers are from Peanut Butter Taco. The washi tape is from Simply Gilded as well. It's just your traditional like winter colors and it turned out really good. Here is what I read in the new releases or at least my TBR, not what I read. This is my TBR. And as you can see, it immediately started out at the beginning of the year blank. And I know the reason why. It's because our book planners ran late and I didn't go back and back plan. Like, it was a problem with shipping nothing wrong with the company at all and so this is just what happened so <laughs> i didn't get to do my first spread until the 17th but the 17th turned out really cute this is a kit from creating and co the and i know you can't really see it but i love that foiling and everything on those uh washi tape uh so pretty it's from simply gilded but i love this whole space it says i need space for more books and i just love it it is the cutest thing this is an older kit from Creating & Co. It's a really cute mermaid. And I only purchased one book for this month's Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. And then I read 11 books in January. And uh, just really cute. I love her summary pages. They're really like to the point. Here in February, I did the traditional Valentine's. So everything hearts. Date covers are from Peanut Butter Taco. Boxes that you see from Peanut Butter Taco. Uh, washi tape is just I think a random washi tape that I got from Amazon or something and the stickers that you see kind of like in between are from creating and co I'm sorry no peanut butter taco sorry this is my TBR a lot of new releases typically January February you will find a lot of new releases that come out so we had a ton and then we go to the softer pink softer colors this is macaroons this is from uh, simply gilded and then I paired it with uh, some Simply Gilded, and I think this is a Sadie Stickers uh, washi tape here. So really pretty. Continued on with the colors. This kit is from Coffee Planner Mom. So love this. Paired it with uh, some Simply Gilded. Look, it matches my nails. <laughs> Simply Gilded uh, washi. So this is a fun kit. This is one of my favorite kits from um, Valentine Kit from Creating & Co. This is Love Yourself First, and it's a bookish take on Valentine's. It is from Creating & Co. So really cute. This is another one from Creating & Co. It's called Love Spell. It says, I love you to the moon and back. So really cute. And I purchased three books and then I read 13 books in the month of February. So it's kind of like my TBR notes. I'll do, you may see that sporadically throughout. March, it reminds me of my title page, like that whole green. The really cute frog date uh, covers are from Peanut Butter Taco. And then I paired it with um, a sticker book. And I think it's Poppy On, I believe, because I'm seeing the butterflies from the Happy Planner. And I think the washi tape is also from the Happy Planner uh, washi set. So love the green. Like I said, I don't use a lot of green, but I was really feeling it. Um, this was my TBR, really short. I don't know what was going on in the month of March. Um, this one is a really cute kit from Creating & Co. This one is from Sweet Bean Plans. I have her listed below. Mostly, pretty much all the shops that I'm telling you is listed below in my favorites. If I do have a code, it will say that. So this is another space. This one is from Creating and Co. with the Little Dragons. So cute. This is another one from Creating and Co. And I paired it with some Happy Planner. I think it's one of those floral books. Uh, this one is from Sweet Bean, so, so cute, and the Sweet Bean washi tape. I used to subscribe to her every month, and then, you know, I tried to cut back. I did, and, you know, I stopped. So, um, I purchased five books uh, in the month of March, and I only read 10. I know you may say 10 is a lot, but for me, I mean, 10 is average, but I've kind of picked up my reading quite a bit, so I'm really moving towards, like, the 12 to 15 per month. So, when I look at 10, it's like, oh, that was low, but, you know. Uh, here in the month of April, so cute. I did strawberries. Uh, this is from Coffee Planner Mom. Actually, these are still in her shop. So if you love those realistic strawberries, they're there. And I do have a code. Uh, it's listed down below. It is Daniel15 if you want to save. I paired it with some peanut butter taco boxes. And the date, the larger date covers that you see are also from peanut butter taco. And then, uh, Simply Gilded came out with a washi set, like a strawberry washi set. I had to have it. It paired so well with a coffee planner, Mom. So it just turned out really cute. Reminds me of a picnic. 
Here's my TBR in new releases for the month of April. And then I moved to a Simply Gilded kit. This is one of her older, older, older kits. And I probably use this because of um, Easter. Because this is the Easter washi. So this is Happy Spring. This is from Creating Co. I love this. I love like the, the illustrative. It reminds me of someone coloring in a coloring book. And I don't mean any disrespect by that. It just, it reminds me of that. And it, it's really fun and colorful. So really cute. Um, I didn't do anything here I, and this was kind of the same if you've been following my other videos with my flip throughs it gets to a point where I stopped and it's because that's when I was making a transition or preparing for leaving my managerial role and moving into the HR role so planning just wasn't just wasn't there as you can see I don't I have very little uh, and I read one two three four five six seven books that month so that's expected you know life happens in the month of May, it is not it is not done, <laughs> nor is my TBR or any releases, and we just continue on. And I think for the month of May, I had absolutely nothing, so there's nothing there. And I didn't take off, like I mentioned in my other videos, I normally take off like a week or two, like holidays, and that's when I usually do those kinds of things if I need a back plan. And that just didn't happen this year. I couldn't take off because I didn't want to. It's not that I couldn't. I didn't want to because I had just started a job in the summertime. So it's just, you know, but I do come back at it in June. Uh, so I did the flowers that you see are from a uh, peanut butter taco. I paired it with uh, some uh, blue uh, washi tape uh, from Michael's and then some scrapbook paper. All of this that you see all along here is scrapbook paper. So just doing something different. Here is my TBR and my new releases. Again, this is all scrapbook. It's from a Michael's scrapbook, um, scrap paper pack. This kit is from uh, Creating Co. Reading is Dreaming with Your Eyes Open. And then it looks like I have a couple of weeks where it's just blank. I can tell you this week I was on vacation because this is the week of my anniversary. So I was in the, pro I had left to my other job and I took a week off to kind of center myself before I started the other job. I think this is where I started the new job. So yeah, it is blank. <laughs> So I had 11 books, which is still pretty good. So I was still doing some reading during that time, even though there wasn't any planning. So I did a birthday spread, peanut butter taco. I believe this was her fifth or sixth year. I can't remember, like, birthday of her shop. She came out with this really cute birthday kit. Uh, the day dots that you see are from her. The little girls with the balloons are from... Um, the happy planner i can't remember which one that is but the little presents and balloons are all from the happy planner and so i just did a whole thing here's my tbr in what uh released for the month of july and then this kit is a booksy kit from creating and co super cute i love this kit i love to look back and just kind of look at the my, some of my favorite kits uh this one is from Rose Gold Paper Co., I do believe. And um, this goes to show you, you can use any type of kit. Like, you give me any kind of stickers, I can make it work with some washi tape. And that's exactly what I did. Just love the whole, like, very mellow, very um, soft colors. Just really pretty. And then this is the... I think this is the week that we actually did the birthday spreads for peanut butter tacos. So how cute is this? I love this. It was just so bright and so festive and it just makes me happy. And then I go to neutral. <laughs> so funny. This is an older kid from Creating and Co. And then I read 14 books. I, as you can see, like I slowly increase like throughout the year. So 14 books is what I read. And then for August, I did Little Kitties. I thought these were so cute. And then I paired it with, I think that's a bookish sticker book from the Happy Planner. And then those little cat day dots are from Peanut Butter Taco. This is my TBR and what released in August. And then this is a really old kit uh, from Creating and Coats called Martha's Vineyard. Very old. You can tell by the format and how large the date covers are. This is another one from uh, Creating & Co. I love how the washi and everything pairs with that. So pretty. This is another one from Creating & Co. And it looks as though I kind of paired the wedding stickers from the Happy Planner in here. Because that script is from there. And the boxes that you see are from uh, the wedding sticker book from uh, the Happy Planner. 
and I didn't do the last week in August for whatever reason. It just happens. I read 17 books um, that month, so really, really good reading month. Here we move to September, so we move into, in my mind, September is fall, so that's when I completely shut off everything that summer and start fall. The day covers that you see are from Peanut Butter Taco. I pair them with River and Eek full boxes that I've been hoarding for a while. I think I used the last of that. This is my very, very low TBR. Um, I know I read more than that, but this sticker book is from, I have it near me, so I'm trying to remember. It's not Teeny Florals, Playful Tile. It's the Playful Tile from the Happy Planner. A really pretty bright uh, sticker book. This one is Teeny Florals. Uh, so that's also from the Happy Planner. Really, really pretty. Uh, this, I don't know, I don't remember which sticker book this came from. It's a larger one, so it may be from a teacher uh, sticker book, I'm thinking, because how large the stickers are, and I paired it with some Happy Planner washi tape. This one is from, what is the name of it? Sticker book. Uh, Homebody, is it not Homebody? Is it Homebody? No. I forgot the name of it. It's not Homebody. I can't remember. I can't remember, but it is one of my favorite ones, but I love it. Uh, this is from a Happy Planner sticker book. It must have been a Happy Planner month. Um, and it's from one of those leopard uh, sticker books. I read nine books for this month. And then this is my quarterly. So I was up to 103 of my 150 gold, which is not bad at all. We move into the last quarter of the year. And this is my favorite month. So it's October. Um, I have a little bit of Robin's Planning Nest, Peanut Butter Taco. I have some, I just have a hodgepodge of just different things, but I love the way that it turned out. Here's my scary, spooky TBR, because I typically read all things spooky in October, and then new releases. This kit is from Creating & Co. So love the deep purples and then the, the black. Love that. This, I added a little bit of scrapbook paper, and this kit is from Creating & Co. The boxes that you see. This is from the Happy Planner. I believe it's that Halloween sticker book that came out a couple of years ago. Um, so I did that. This one is Read in Peace. Um, so this is from Creating and Co. And I picked up four books for this month with totaling 16 books for the month of October. Moved to November. Went back to Pumpkins. Uh, these that you see on the side are from Pen Paper and Plans along with the washi tape. Here's my TBR and new releases. And this is where you'll find where I will really ramp up my reading because I'm trying to like fulfill prompts and finish for the month and things like that. This one is from Creating & Co. This is also from Creating & Co. I hope that you're getting inspiration and ideas because I love to look at other people's planners too and get inspiration and ideas. This one is from Creating & Co. And I paired it with, I love that forest washi. It is, I love that washi so much. And then I didn't do the week of Thanksgiving. And I started to go back, but I didn't. So I read 19 books, which is like, wow. And then we moved to December. And this is so cute. So this is Winnie the Pooh. These stickers are from Robin's Planning Nest. She is listed below with a code. I didn't have new any new releases. This was intentional. There was nothing that really piqued my interest. These uh, boxes and things like that are from one of the holiday books from um, the Happy Planner. This is from Creating & Co. And I paired it with um, one of those from the holiday sticker books. This is from Creating & Co. Um, these are from Robin's Planning Nest. Those little snowmen, they're super cute. Love that. And then the snowman washi is from Pen Paper and Plans. This is from Creating & Co. Take this one off. And then I left uh, December blank. And the reason why I left this blank is because I started this week in my new planner. So I wasn't going to do both. I picked up some uh, books uh, for December and I read 23. That was my highest month of the year. 
and I even flowed over onto the back page because I ran out of space. That like hardly ever, ever happens. So just to look at some stats for you, uh, this is my 2022 stats. Fountains of Silence was my favorite book. Best series is Arc of Scythe, um, Stand Alone Between Shades of Grey, Aruta Sepetis. She's the author of the Between Shades and the Fountains of Sil Silence. She's my favorite historical writer. The Priory of the Orange Tree, that cover is amazing. Um, I don't watch much TV, but I did pick up the series National Treasure, which I'm still watching on Disney. Here is my top 10 books. If you want to take a screenshot, 161 and look how many pages. Wow. When you actually look at that at the end of the year, it's like, oh my goodness. Um, so this is kind of a, just a little hodgepodge wrap up of things that either quotes or things that I like or things that I've done throughout the year. Here is a challenge that I completed for Peanut Butter Taco, and it's the Thriller Challenge. This one is super cute. I believe it's still in her shop if you're interested. Here is the Read the Rainbow, so it's based on the cover. Here is the Seasonal Challenge for Peanut Butter Taco, Spring, Summer, Fall, and Winter. So cute. And then this is when we did the birthday, when I told you about Peanut Butter Taco. Uh, it was her fifth or sixth year. And so we had a couple of little prompts. It was so cute. I hope she continues to do that every year. So that is my flip through of my 2022 Always Fully Booked planner. Uh, if you picked up this planner in 2023, comment down below and let me know. Please include your Instagram so I can follow you. I love to follow people and get inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me here at Daniel's Desk. If you enjoyed uh, looking through my 2022 Always Fully Booked planner, please give the video a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from me, consider subscribing. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.